What's up, travelers? So I'm sitting here at Bistro Ooh. del Venice. I'm about to have a four course Michelin rated meal here in Venice, Italy, and this is gonna be something. ended up ordering the historic Venetian tasting menu. It's a four course meal and I had the choice of appetizers which was prawns and sour or sweet and sour prawns or cod with anchovies. I went with the prawns and sour. It's prawns with onion, vinegar, sultanas, almonds, pine nuts and spices. My first course I got an artichoke bottom soup. I had the choice of ravioli de herbs or the artichoke bottom soup. Artichoke bottoms, goat cheese, smoked thin duck drips with white grape and pistachios. And then from the main course, we had the choice of duck breast and provarada sauce or baked deal and ara. I went with the baked deal and ara. It's lightly smoked baked deal with bay leaf and black pepper. The eels are roasted outside the mouth of Murano ovens, ara. And it's a traditional dish dating back to the 15th century. And then I had a choice of two desserts. We had the white royal cake and a traditional crema rosada. I went with the, with the white royal cake, um, which is a recipe by Bartolomeo Scapi from the 16th century. It's old fashioned cake with ricotta cheese, ginger heart, rose ice cream, and gelé with wild berries. Should be pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. Boy, we are living the high life now. Look at this. This is the horse that wasn't on the menu. You get one. <laughs> you know you're, you're at a fine dining establishment when you're paying you know, as much as this costs. You're only getting one shrimp. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely interesting. So it's got a citrus dusting, it's got some whatever that green and yellow stuff is. <laughs> it's really good though. Mm.
Yes, that is fantastic. Grab some of this bread and off the bench. Check out this water bottle. It's pretty amazing. Oh, we got our sweet and sour prawns. Look at all this stuff here. Let's get to try some of the fixings before we do get into the seafood. Mm, it's got some balsamic vinegar, some raisins, some pine nuts, some almonds. Mm. <laughs> really good. I can tell you that. Mm. Yeah. I tell you what. These are some incredible flavors. It's almost like you're biting into an interesting pie. <laughs> Prawn is just absolutely tender. Just fantastic. I don't even know. You can tell that this is cooked with love. <laughs> well, this is my first time ever eating at a, at a restaurant like this. And I don't even know how to act. <laughs> That was one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. Not even gonna. Nope. Can't do it. Alright, so now we've got our uh, artichoke bottom soup with smoked duck, strips, and grapes, and pistachio and goat milk. And this looks absolutely amazing. Uh, Let's dig in. Mm. Mm. That's got an amazing tanginess to it, and then you get one of those one of those grapes, and you just get an explosion of sweetness. And oh wow. some of those uh, pistachios in there. We've got some goat cheese and then the smoked duck strips. If I can get some of it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. That smoked duck is just it really takes that flavor to the next level. This soup right here was worth the trip to Venice in itself. For some reason, the duck doesn't like to find the spoon. <laughs> mm, absolutely amazing. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta grab a piece of bread and soft the rest of that up because it's just too good not to. <laughs> Eel, bizarre, in a very short dialect. There's a little bit smoke, you know, <laughs> baked in the oven. So the always a, on top of a grilled polenta. It's a, it's a fish reduction, different kind of pepper, herbs, and bay leaves. Bon appetit. Oh, thank you.
<laughs> Are you, did you just see that? That is, oh, wow. This smells just so amazing. It's just <laughs> oh man! I, uh, yeah, for me eating sushi, eel is like my favorite sushi there is. So this this is exciting. Mm. Mm. So, the smokiness, of course, that's, that's exciting, but the crispiness of that skin and then the texture of the meat itself is just so, <laughs> it's like dense but soft and it sticks to your teeth for a couple chews through it. And oh man, it's oily and just unbelievable, perfectly cooked. Mm. Every bite of this gives you an orgasm. <laughs> and the afterthought on the whole dish is that polenta, and it is so creamy and sweet and just wow. <laughs> I'm so sad that's gone. <laughs> that was so good. So this is the royal white cake. Uh, this is a ricotta cheesecake. It's made with three different kinds of milk. And then... Got something there. So made out of ginger and lemon. I've got some ice cream. Looks like a strawberry ice cream, some sort of berry. And then there's a red wine berry reduction here. And yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. Let's try this cheesecake here. Wow. Oh, Italy. <laughs> That's everything that you could ever dream about out of a cheesecake. That is the best cheesecake I've ever had in my life. I've made quite a few in my day, and I've never thought about using ricotta to make a cheesecake. I think I'm going to try it. Mm. Once you get into the middle of that, that's when you start to get into that, that ginger and lemon. And it just changes everything. The ginger's not too spicy, you know it's there. The, the lemon kind of cuts into it and takes that, the spiciness out of it. Mm. Yeah, I could eat this every day. <laughs> So good. Well, here's the last bite of the meal. Mm. Mm. 
If you have enjoyed this video and it has helped you decide if you want to come to Bistro de Venice in, in Venice, please go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and pass it along to your friends who might be coming to Venice as well. I really appreciate it. And as always, eat great food.